Hey guys, Vizerlo here. So, WWDC has come and gone, and Apple has revealed not really that much, and I really mostly care about the hardware side of things, and Apple did not reveal any hardware at all at WWDC. Instead, it was all just software. And while iOS 12 is interesting, and all of the new apps that's coming with it is pretty cool, I still think that a new Mac, a new iPhone and all that is to be expected every single year. So why didn't we see one at WWDC? But before I get into anything else, I do have to make sure that you know that Apple usually has other events in this year too. So every year Apple has a different event. Now they already did have the iPad event that was in March or around there. And of course last year the iPhone 10 and other stuff like that was revealed at its own separate September event. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see another event later this year that reveals all the new iPhones and new Macs, all that. But did it surprise me that we saw no new hardware at WWDC? Well, I think that it surprised everyone, and I feel like that there's a deliberate reason for Apple to do this. They wouldn't just go quiet and not release any hardware for one straight year. Apple's a hardware company and a software company, but they make a lot of money off of hardware in general, so Apple should really focus on hardware too. So it doesn't really make sense for Apple to completely skip hardware this year. I still think that we're going to see new hardware this year, maybe at a different event. I just, I don't know why we didn't see it at WWDC. There are some reasons that could play into this. Maybe Apple is still working on the new MacBooks, like as I said in my last video, maybe Apple is working on their own processors for it and ditching Intel and they just need more time to finish it. Or maybe the, all the other new hardware, like the new Apple Watches and all that, just need some extra time to be finished. That's definitely a possibility and, that, and like delays happen all the time. However, it is a bit worrying that we didn't hear anything really about hardware this year at WWDC. That's not a normal thing for Apple to do. Usually, they'd come out and say something. Like I said, there has to be a reason for this. So, I'm betting that later on this year, we're going to see uh, another event that's going to reveal all of this. New MacBooks, new iPhones, new Apple Watches, all of that is probably going to be at separate events. So I would want to see at a separate event from Apple the new iPhones and mainly just the new MacBooks. That's the number one thing that I feel like Apple needs to show if they want to have hardware stay relevant this year because you can't be a hardware company as big as Apple and just completely skip a year like that and not release any new hardware. However, if I go more into detail, I'd like to see a new design of the Mac Pro, maybe a new iMac like refresh. Probably, I, I would really love this if Apple actually put some effort into changing up the MacBook Air instead of just repackaging what was there from 2014. And of course, everyone would like to see an iPhone 10 with really thin bezels at a very cheaper price. So maybe having a more budget-friendly device. That's a bit what the rumors have been saying that we're going to see an iPhone 10 like iPhone XS device that's going to be significantly cheaper. I don't know what that means for the possibility of an iPhone SE 2, but still, it would just, like Apple needs to release a new iPhone every year to keep up with the competition, so I'm betting we're going to see a new iPhone this year, whether that be a budget end device or a more high end device. But on the Apple Watch side of things, I really just don't know what to say. I never have delved into the vast ecosystem of smartwatches before, so I can't really say much about how smartwatches usually come out. However, I would think that Apple would release a new version, like maybe Season 4 Apple Watch, that probably would just have a new design with more powerful specs. That's just the baseline for a new product. Release the same thing with better specs. And if you really want to go into detail, I'd love to see a new iPod Touch that's more cheaper, just because I'm a big iPod Touch fan, but I doubt that. I have no idea what we're going to see, if there even is a separate event this year. But what do you think of Apple not revealing any hardware at WWDC 2018? And also, while you're at it, what do you think of a separate Apple event, and what would you want to see there? Please let me know in the comments, and if you want to check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you.